Hey guys, it's your girl Beauty's Advocate here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I got these super cute nails using the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. I will be doing a full review of them, so stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, I did buy the full starter kit, which comes with a mini LED lamp, the almond tips in size medium, as well as the prep primer, builder gel, um, or whatever you want to call it, and the top coat. So I actually did a full video on how I prep my cuticle, which I will link in the description below. It goes into, you know, deep detail on how to remove that excess skin from the nail plate so you can ensure your nails last for weeks. I had these particular nails on for about three weeks and I had absolutely no lifting. I took them off simply because I was ready for something new. Um, but this is my tried and true way to prep. I've done it with the Kiara Sky Tips the Opres Gel X and even some generic ones I've purchased off of Amazon. So now I'm just going in and I'm finding the sizes that fit my nails. To be honest, this is like the first negative thing I'll say about this kit. The cuticle area, is it just doesn't match my real nails that well. I didn't have a lot of time to customize it and really file it the way that I wanted to, but first things first, I just feel like the Opres tips are a little more rounded at the bottom so they fit my specific cuticle um, better. Either way, I decided to just go ahead and try them out and see if I like them. So to prep the full cover nail extension, I'm just going in with a small diamond ball bit and I'm etching the inside. Then I take the tip, put it on my nail, make sure the etch part covers the entire nail plate. If it doesn't, then I just go up a little higher with where I etched. And that's what I do for all of the tips. Um, you will see me switch to a um, kind of like a cone shaped bit, whatever this one is called. I have no idea. I won't lie to you. But I did switch to this one for some of the larger tips just to make the process go faster. Next, I applied the prep, which is just a dehydrator. This helps, you know, make sure there are no excess oils on your nail plate before applying because that will cause lifting. After that, I went in with the primer, which is what you see me doing now, and I just made sure I covered that on the full nail plate, but I was really careful not to get it on to my skin. Now, after this, I did try two different application methods. The first is the way that the directions tell you, which is to apply a thin coat of the builder gel onto your natural nails first and then cure it. Um, the second way that you'll see later in this video is I skipped the step of actually applying a layer to my natural nail first. Um, I wanted to check and see, shout out to my frizzy hair right there, <laughs> but I just wanted to see if the method would work because I've heard of a lot of other um, YouTubers and some nail techs saying that they get a faster application by skipping that step. So as part of this step, next what you do is you apply the gel um, a thin layer on the inside of the tip. I apply it everywhere that I etched it and then I put a little excess at the cuticle area of the tip. Now when I apply these, I start applying pressure from the back of the nail and I kind of like just tip it forward and try to move the gel throughout the nail. Now I definitely screwed up the first time, do you see that? This gel is a lot different than the Opres Extend Gel. I would number one say that it is thinner, so it has a thinner viscosity. And I just noticed like on a lot of my nails, I've had to like take it off and reapply it, take it off and reapply it because I kept getting air bubbles. Um, it was actually super, super annoying. Um, I, I mean, they still lasted. But I just don't like the air bubbles. I'm like really paranoid that, you know, water will get trapped under there and then, you know, I'll get some type of fungus or bacteria. So anytime I see air bubbles, I will take it off and redo it. But <clears throat> essentially, that's really just like my main gripe with the gel. It's like it's so thin that I feel like it just allows for a lot of air bubbles. I've never had that problem with the Extend Gel. Now, here's the thing. The Extend Gel contains some different type of chemicals and I've definitely felt like I may be starting to develop an allergic reaction to it. So I'm not saying don't use Kiara Sky, I'm not saying that at all. Like I said, it worked. It's just 
I have to get used to the way that I need to apply these because it does call for a different method than the Opry set. Okay, so talking about a different method, I actually like this way much better using the Kiara Sky Kit, which is where I skip that first layer on my natural nail first and I only apply it to the um, back of the extension. I felt like this worked a lot better. I had way less bubbles. I mean, it could also be because of the fact that um, I'm right hand dominant, but I honestly think it may have been from skipping that. For some reason, the gel just was spreading much more like easily and it just kind of flowed to the free edge a lot better without like spilling over too much now let's talk about this light do you see how hard it is kind of for me to get my fingers in the light like I actually thought I was going to love this light and I kind of hate it I miss my method of like when I um, have like the nail polish holder with the rechargeable flashlight it has so much space underneath it that like I can ball up my fingers and like fit my whole like hand under there with this you can really kind of only fit one finger and you have to make sure the rest of your fingers are flat so I didn't really like that part about it um, cleanup of this was like super super easy I didn't have a lot of spillage so I was able to go in with my fine tornado bit and just kind of get any of the excess spillage that's the one thing that I'll say like this set does for me have an advantage over our praise uh, when it comes to that simply because like it was so much less cleanup I had less cleanup on the underside of the nail um, and it may be because of that thinner viscosity it was so much easier to just smooth out and then I had less cleanup actually um, on the side this is like a big chunk that I was getting off right there because I did um, put a little too much on the middle finger but I mean cleaning up these nails was actually pretty cool the one thing that I will say is like usually I can use a fine bit and kind of go over the nail like that and like buff off the um, the shiny layer I could not do that with these nails they are a little more brittle in my opinion um, and I started to get kind of like lines so then I just switched back to my hand file and started to take off the shiny layer um, the e-file was just way too strong even on the lowest setting and while I'm painting my nails um, I just want to tell you guys kind of about the cuticle area on these tips a little more I know I talked about the shape of them earlier but I also want to touch on the thickness I feel like the cuticle area on these tips are definitely thicker than the operas and depending on who you are this may be a good or bad thing for me it's a bad thing because i need the cuticle area to kind of be as thin as possible and it did cause for a lot more like e-filing around the cuticle area to try to get it flush um, with my nail now on the operas um it's super simple i can just go in with the diamond ball bit and it pretty much just comes um comes off and just is flush with the cuticle with these I should have filed them down with the hand file before I applied them I didn't realize how thick it was going to be when I finally got them on either way I love the way that these turned out I'll definitely continue to use these tips um, I'm not sure if I would ever purchase them again though if I'm being 100% honest and transparent and the reason why I say that is because there's just so much customizing that has to happen at the cuticle area for me that it just added so much more time onto what it would take to do these nails. I still did this set in about, like, I think it took an hour and 15 minutes, which isn't that bad. But I can guarantee you if I didn't have to do all of that custom filing around the cuticle area, I probably could have got the, gotten these on and painted um, within like an hour. Um, and you may say like, oh, it's only 15 minutes, but it's 15 minutes that I could have saved myself. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going in. These are some Model Wands polishes. I will link them in the description below. I got them in a set. Um, I actually hate these, just a FYI. Some of them are like the perfect viscosity and they go on really smooth. These two particular colors, it's coming out lumpy the more layers that I did, so it's kind of annoying. Um... So I wouldn't uh, purchase the model once again. I think I'm really falling in love with the eye gel beauty 
um, so I'm probably gonna stock on, on some polishes from them but either way um, I painted all of my nails kind of like that nice um, springy peachy color which I feel like is perfect for this time of the year and then on the um, the white nail I'm just going to sprinkle some um, pixie crystals on top um, just like so this is actually my first time using pixie crystals I would say if you're gonna use them you should probably use like some type of like rhinestone gel or something to apply it because it did come off within a week but these are like super cute um, I've kind of been into like the more simple nail looks maybe like one decorated nail the rest kind of plain um, but yeah now for my final thoughts I do feel like this is a decent um, kit I think that you know you get um, a good amount of bang for your buck I do like the prep, I like the primer, I um, am getting used to the Builder Gel. Like I said, I've never had an allergic reaction to it, which is great, so that is definitely a plus for me. I'm not in love with the light or the tips. The tips, I feel like they're sturdy and they're fine, they just didn't necessarily fit my cuticle the best. I think if you have more square cuticles, these will probably be perfect, but if your cuticles are more rounded like mine, you know, you may have the same issue that I had as far as customizing that area. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below. And peace!